Let's play some Pathfinder Kingmaker PS5 style. Buggy ass fuck. <laughs> See how many bugs we run into. Hopefully, not too many. I tried playing this on the PS4. It didn't really work too well, but uh, we're going to give another try here. I got a character in mind already. So hopefully the character creation goes by pretty quickly. Is that how it's supposed to be? No music? Looks like a bug already. Bug number one. No music. <laughs> Let's see here. We'll do all this when the game starts, I think. All right, yeah, here we go. We'll do normal criticals. Turn that off. Somewhat easier enemies, normal enemies. Damage the party. Normal. Turn that on. Leave that on. Turn that on because I've never done the kingdom management, so I don't want to just fail, <laughs> fail that and just fail the game. Only skill user receives skill check experience off. We're gonna leave this stuff on. Enemy information and combat. Show alignment shifts and dialogues on. Huh? Really wants this stuff on. Huh? There's a character portrait in here I really like. It's the ranger one. So we're gonna go with that. Go with elf. Female. Archaeologist. Kind of be a skill monkey, skill monkey type character. Oops, let's see, body type. Uh, make it a little thicker. Yeah, let's go with some thickness. Can't stand bony bitches. I think we'll leave her face alone because that's. Yeah. Uh, 
with this. We'll try to match her up with the character portrait, so I guess just leave it alone. Yeah. Black ponytails, keep that. What's I think that's about as blonde as you're gonna get, I guess. Yeah, I'm just leave it there. Let's see, isn't there some darker? Ability scores. Mm, the way I do my ability scores, I try not to waste points. So I'm not gonna have any like real crazy high stats. They're gonna be pretty even across the board. Let's see. Take all these up to before they cost two. Take something away here. That looks good. What's some athletics? I kind of did this before, that's why I'm kind of going through it so quickly. Uh, I'm not very proficient with 3.5 rules, so... I do want that it's trained only, so I have to have one point there. I'm a bard, so I don't have to train these. I do want a point here, I think. Perception. Persuasion. Use magic device. I'm gonna take uh, toughness. For some survivability. Take some AE skills here. Grease. Sleep. I'm gonna go with love. Mere flesh wound. I'm gonna go with lawful good because uh, I'm gonna have some paladin levels in there for the cheesy charisma saves, you know. <laughs> Burn, slev, mark, we are mark. May I see your entrails, please? You should have run. I did it. Interesting. The road calls me. I'll hold on. Just a little more. I stand ready. No contest. We cannot be- I failed. Out of my way! Enemy approaching! Adventures are exciting. Careful oh. now. Discover me! With damn this silly thing. This hurts so much. 
Your luck's run out. Away! I'm always ready. So let her like the cough from your flesh wound. Quick, quick! Else we I'll take care of it. All I see is blackness. Ah, a test of my abilities. Confident or cunning? Let I I'm let I this is my cunning. chance. What's that glitter? We'll go with cunning. Now, I know it probably cut out there on the recording a little bit because uh, I think PS5 does that automatically so you don't reveal your passwords and stuff. Gonna go with my birthday. 6-1. All right, I think we're ready. Hesitation is a waste of time. Coup de gras. Ding, 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 ding. Do do do. Some kind of saves we got up here. Base attack bonus. Fortitude zero will three. Ugh. But we'll cheese that up when we get the uh, paladin levels. Sometime next year. <laughs> we we'll finally level up that much. Let's go. at the mansion of an Aldori Swordlord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. All right, let's see here. There's a book that can occur at the very beginning of this, and if we uh, encounter it, I have to start all over again. So let's see what, what we get here. My character's face Where doesn't show it. This is taking forever. It didn't even say what this was for. It just said the Aldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Aldori anyway, Rich Rock? I think we got the bug. My character's portrait's supposed to be over there. If it doesn't show up there, you'll never see it. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming.
Greetings, everyone. Hey, we got the I book. Sword Lord Jamandi so, that's bug number two. Sorry. And this is Lord. So we gotta do this all the way over again. Now, as you see, now we have music here. It shows you how buggy this game is. Let's try this again. If anything's messed up, I think we can fix it later. Alright, let's try this again. Try to work through this as quickly as possible. I have about 35. Okay. Let's see what 14, 16, 11, 16. Athletics, trickery, lore, perception, persuasion, use of magic, toughness. Grease, sleep. For this, get it if I talk. Follow if you dare. Let's go with confident this time. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> All right. Test of my abilities. All right, let's go. My character should show up in this picture too. This one coming up. If her face is not there, it bugged out again. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord, drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task I and a commensurately huge not my reward. Character. Heroes of all stripes gathered here. My character's supposed to be on the left over there, I think. Where are they? This is taking forever. Yeah, another buggy start. They didn't even say what this was for, just at the out.
Let's try this. Our story started at the nope. bugged out mansion of an Aldori sword lord. See, if your portrait doesn't show up at the very beginning, it won't show up all game. Turn the auto save off. Turn, turn based on. Let's see how these work. I think this pause stuff should matter we're not using it, using turn-based. Let's see if this fixes anything. Turn off the auto save. We're gonna remove this. Try this again. Normal. Off.
I'll take care of it. Oh, Our I'm enemy. Um. You should have run. See if we can get it this time. Our story started nope. at the mansion of an. It's bugged out again. Where are they? This is taking forever. Ver, it didn't even say what this was for. Just at the outdoor. Sorry, we're looking for hero. What's causing that? I don't know. Thirty minutes of this. Trying to get past this bug. Kind of amazing this even got released. It's something with the appearance, but leave the body type alone.
This will hurt! Bird if you're a sweet Follow if you dare. We're gonna try something. I go all the way down on the result and see if that makes a difference. I'll take care of it. Let's go all the way down to the bottom of this. at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord drawn by the promise of a most dangerous I'm not sure what the bugs causing that but reward. whatever Heroes it was of all stripes gathered here probably going to cut this episode short now since we went through all these problems where are they this is taking forever didn't even say what this was for, just that the Eldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Eldori anyway, rich folk? So we got Ivy picked her over there now, so that worked. That was the bug. She doesn't show up there on the left side. You'll never see her all game long. If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Aldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. All right, let's start with this here. Sword Lords. The Aldori Sword Lords arose when famed swordsman Baron Syrian Aldori agreed to train a select group of pupils in his dueling techniques. They ruled Washland for generations, each as prickly and impulsive as the Order's founder, though they are considered some of the finest sword fighters in the inner sea region. They are also obsessed with personal standing and honor. Brevoy. Brevoy is a relatively young nation, having only existed since 1449, 2499 AR. The history of Brevoy before this time is the history of two often worn nations, Isia and Roslyn. The coming of Coral, the Conqueror, changed all this. After securing the defeat and surrender of the two nations, Coral christened his family house Rogeria. Its rule ended with the mysterious disappearance of every member of House Rogarvia in 4699 AR, leaving Brevoir in a precarious political position. Right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Greetings, everyone. I am Swordlord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius of Restolf. Welcome to my mansion. Restolf. Restolf was one of the two largest cities in the fertile region of Roslyn in southern Brevoy. Lord Mayor Yosef Selimius leads the city which is a trade and cultural center that borders the River Kingdoms, the Shrek River, and the Stolen Lands. As the birthplace of the Aldori dueling style, the city boasts several Aldori and Talden dueling schools. Talden, what's, who are those people? Which has led to the city being a favorite place for young nobles to practice dueling championships. Most prominent among them is the Aldori Academy, widely regarded as the region's finest war college. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. 
You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restoff needs. Thank you, Lord Mayor. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restoff would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Let's check out the Stolen Lands here. The Stolen Lands are an almost wholly unsettled region in the northeastern section of the River Kingdoms, bordering the nation of Bravoy and serving as a buffer between Bravoy and the River Kingdoms. Traditionally the haunt of bandits and monstrous humanoids, the Stolen Lands are regarded as stolen by all nations along their border, even though none have ever been able to keep these realms under their control for long. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief, who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? There is a whole team of us. Who exactly could receive the Baron's title? I will, of course. I'm the leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. <laughs> Tartuccio, no smack it on We no haven't ass. yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. She takes a long pause, waiting for the voices to die down, as everyone directs their attention towards her. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Why not just recognize the Stag Lord as Baron? That's a good point. As I see it, this Stag Lord already holds power over the region with confidence. Many noble bloodlines were started by bandits who just got lucky, weren't they? Perhaps because we do have standards to maintain. This room has seen many celebrations of adventurers, and even those who just got lucky. But giving a noble title to a bandit lord? <laughs> And that's one thing that's never happened here, and it won't while I still breathe. You're helping us found a barony? What do you gain from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. I'll swing your fucking ass around, Tartuccio. Of course we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. What is that smell in the air? Is it the smell of unspoken words and political intrigue? Noticing you've heard her comments, she winks at you coyly. 
What rewards can we expect exactly? And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Hmm. Words, words, words. Significant, financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mary. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. It's clear as day. Excellent. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go and return in triumph. Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So. Shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? I have you down in a vein. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. I'm no hero, just a mercenary. And what are you a mercenary for? Is it only riches? Or maybe you want glory, too? Don't you want your feats to be remembered and glorified for centuries? Uh, just listen. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case? Someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? Hmm. And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. What about that barbarian? She looks pretty heroic. I think her name's uh, Miri? Oh yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but... She kind of scares me just a little. But, I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. Just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll agree. All right, I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. Yeah, see you later. My quill takes its first sip from the ink pot and scripts, or rather scribbles, Blah, blah, blah. Didn't get to read that. Alright, let's move around a little bit. What game is Jamandi playing? I'm not used to feeling like a pawn. 
In due time. It may be difficult, but at least it won't be boring. Get some rest before the road. You have a difficult journey before you. I'm there. Tomorrow, a glorious journey begins. Are you ready? I hope so. I don't need Leobach on my team. I do what I must. Finally, the idol talks over. Can't wait to set out. A large map of Bravoy and the surroundings dotted with numerous cryptic marks and notes. Thank you. Tutorial. I'm off. Let's see. Some controls here. Move them in and out. I'm there. In due time. All right. So I'm just kind of getting accustomed to the controls here a little bit. Follow if you dare. Looks like we got uh, a little cursor action. Just click on people if you want. A little PC style action right there. I'm gonna go ahead and save this now before it crashes on me. I'll take care of it. So we've got the pause there. Turn off the auto intelligence. It's time to act. Inventory character screen stuff. Hand trip action. Turn the cursor back off. I can move her with the I'm stick. Dead. Highlight objects. Action bar. Change weapons right here. Combat log and stuff over there. I do what I must. Expedition is surely doomed. All right. I'm off. Everybody's cleared out. Doesn't like, look like there's anything hidden around here. 
In due time. Doom, doom, doom. Double guard, I'll double the guard for the night just as a precaution. Follow if you dare. Northern architecture is beautiful but very heavy. In my native land of Kadira, palaces are furnished quite differently. All right, folks. I do what I So I'm gonna stop it here. Apologize for the buggy start, but you know that's the problem with this game on console. So uh, <laughs> hope we don't have to deal with a whole bunch of that nonsense. But that's there's going to be some bugs. So uh, save, save often. Save again, actually. Just My to be safe. skills are absolute. All right, and I'll see you guys next time. We'll exit, we'll, we'll exit the banquet hall and uh, start our adventure, I suppose.